Okay, um, I'm going to teach you how to install a source dedicated server the proper way f for like source games. Today, it's going to be Counter Strike for today. Um, first, you just go to uh, www.srcds.com. Uh, once you go to that, It would take you to here, you just click Windows. Uh, first download the Half-Life update tool from here. I've already got it, so just open it. Yep. Um, just go to, first go to your computer, go to C drive, and create a folder. Call it SRCDS, and then in there, create another folder called update. Updater. Um, go back to this program that um, you just downloaded. Next, I agree, and then browse to the SRCD, and then the updater folder. Click OK. Saves it or exists, click yes, next, next, installs it, click country, next, just close that. And in the updater, you just double click the Half Life 2 update tool. Come up with a, just saying, it's checking the boot strap version, just let it go through it. Um, it's just, yeah, now it's getting the version. Now it's downloading. Okay, um, now the Half-Life Update tool, right click it, um, and create shortcut. Rename that to Updater. Okay, right click updater, go to properties, and um, I'm going to type this command in. Minus command update, minus game, commas, counter strike source thing. Um, I'm just going to copy it. Click OK. And then double click it. Click yes. And I will say no installation record found out. C colon let it um start wait until it starts to download. Okay now it's just checking to make sure it's the right version. Obviously it won't be. Okay, as soon as it starts downloading, close it. Um Okay, now this is the part where people just say, wait 10 minutes or something, but if you actually did that, it will be downloading and the file size is about, I think, 3 to 4 gig, so as if anyone wants to download that. So, the workaround is to go to your Steam Maps folder and go to Counter-Strike Source Shared. Um, to be able to access these folders, you have to go to G. I mean, download GCF Escape. The link will be in the description. Um, just double click on it, and once it comes up, GCF Escape, like I said, click C Strike, and you're going to extract materials, models, sound and maps. Just I just extracted it into um, my uh, just a folder on the desktop called C Strike stuff. Just extract it somewhere where you can find. Once you extracted that, you go back to your Steam set folder and look for source source materials. You just double click into that, go to Half Life Two, extract the materials folder. I just extracted it into the same folder under Half-Life 2 and
source models. Go to Half Life 2, extract the models, and source sounds, and do the same. Just extract the sound into this folder. Yeah, here's my. Here's my um, folder that I extracted to. I've already done this previously. Um, so that's the C strike. It's got the map materials model and sound. And Half Life 2 materials model sound. Okay, if I just right click each of these, I'll show you how big they are 1.5 and 2.5. So you, basically, every other tutorial you'll probably followed tells you to just wait 10 minutes. Ten minutes to download about three gig. I don't think so, unless you have some sort of super internet. And obviously, no one wants to download that big. So basically, go to um, back to this folder, the SRCD. We'll go back to um, back a folder, and you'll notice install record dot blob orange box and half life two has appeared. Okay, um, if you go into Orange Box, you'll notice it's Counter Strike. You click into C Strike, you'll see these folders. If you go back to that folder you extracted, and just open the C Strike, and I'm just going to cut these because it will talk quicker, and just basically paste it over. Just merge it, yep. Okay, now that's done. Um, we'll go back to SRCD and we'll close that. Okay, um, now there's only Half Life 2. We'll open up Half Life 2. Go to your SRCD folder. Open up Half Life 2. There's materials, model sound. Um, basically, to copy the folders over. That's just, you just take the foil off there and then you straighten the motherboard. Mm -hmm. So be very careful now. Yeah, no. Look, you're taking off like we... Okay, now that's done. Um, go back to the SRCD. Go to Updater. Double click on Update. Click Yes. Yep, yeah, excellent, yep. Yeah. How did we get to this? So quick. Yeah. Oh, no, I Okay, now it's completed. Now, if we go back to um, I think SRCD and click in the orange box, you will see an SRCD DSEXE. Now, if we double click that, we'll come up with the Counter Strike blah blah. blah click start. Our uh, password needs to be something. Let's just be stupid. R23. Click start. Now it's starting the dedicated server. Allow access for your firewall. And there you go, now you got a dedicated server hosting. Um, uh, the next step is to um, do uh, port forwarding on your um, your ADSL depending what router you actually have. Um, that will be in part two of this video.